Hey, in the NRL 2021 season previews, we've now reached the Manly Warringah Seagulls. Uh, last season, they finished 13th. They underperformed. 14.7 wins, 13 losses. Now, I think that is a one-off. I do believe they can bounce back. And I do believe they can make finals this year. But there are some strengths and weaknesses that I think we can discuss. Now, Des Hasler is still the coach. And I think he is the right man for the job. The strengths, the four-pack and the coach speak for themselves. The weaknesses are the squad depth and defence, especially the defence. You look at the uh, the points for and against, and it, it does make pretty grim reading. And you look at their poor run of form in the second half of the season, where they lost games from winning positions. And um, when the confidence went and the defence went, they could concede tries in hatfuls very, very quickly. The squad depth was tested by injuries. Um, Tom Dravojevic, for example, um, no one can quite match what he does for the team. So the outside backs, not just Travoyevich, but others, when they are injured, there's not an adequate replacement waiting to replace them. Other teams had found some diamonds in the rough, like Canberra, for example, a lot of injuries. They made finals. They carried on winning while missing key players. Manly didn't. That could be a confidence issue. Now, Des has inherited this squad, um, and you could argue the list management could be better. But look where they were in 2019 to where they were in 2020. Yes, 2020 was a disrupted season. It's pro rata and we can assume how many points they would have got had it been a full season. Had it been a full season, I can't see them turning it around. Travojevic was injured. You look at the win percentage with him and you look at the win percentage without him. It is startling. I think they win 60% of games when he plays and they win 30% of games when he doesn't play. That That's sort of the rough guide. They, they, their performances drop without him in the side. So Tom Travojevic is the key player to watch. If he can stay fit, alongside Kieran Foran in the halves, alongside Terry Evans, then man, they have a very good chance, A, to bounce back, and B, make finals. Whether they actually go on to the grand final is, is another thing, and a lot of things have to go their way for that to happen. They can still add squad depth before the season starts. We've, we've got three months. The defence, I think, is a more of a bigger concern than the squad depth because you can put players who may not be the best attacking players in a sense or may not be on the same level as others but if you can organise your defence you can have a fighting chance of snatching wins grinding out wins and making yourself difficult to play against other teams prove that the defence is a deep deep concern fourth worst defence in the league and the second half of the season they completely just fell apart and with good defence comes confidence in yourself team ethic and that was lacking at times, especially towards the end of the season. The form just deserted them. That's something that needs to, needs to change. So they need to work on the defence. But I do think they can bounce back and they can make finals. Tom Travojevic is the player to watch for me because with him in the side, they are a better side. How one player can have such an impact, however, shows the lack of squad depth. There needs to be other players to step up to his level and step up and and make that difference when he's not in the side and that doesn't happen enough but i'm gonna leave that there thank you very much for watching place your thoughts below and i'll have some more videos for you very very soon